All right, so the goal when you're playing with backgrounds and balancing it with the foreground elements is honestly, how do you just make it more and more interesting as you go and not lose, lose sight of what was working? And it helps to get some distance on it every once in a while. I'm going to soften these out a little bit more. I'm going to take that stuff on top here and try. Let's see. Yeah, try softening it. So I like the energy of it behind. I think it livens things up. But I don't want it to overtake, overpower. So now with this kind of background, what other aspects do I have to play with? If I basically select all of this empty space and then select the inverse of it, right? And then I can go to these Hans Hoffman layers. Oh, before I do that, let's let me expand them so they fill the space a little bit more. Stretch them throughout. There we go. Same thing here. Actually, I, I really like that. It's almost like a poster. Then we're going to select from here. Select the inverse. And steal that from these layers. And then again, select the inverse, just steal that selection, and pull it from other things we're using. And those give us some other textures to work with. And let's move one above the other. Let me take the color balance, warm it up a little bit. Let's take its opacity down a bit. Feels soft. Same thing with this. Maybe make a duplicate of it. And 
And then let's um, blur out the edges. Now the way we can blur out the edges is select the empty space and then select and mask, you know, refine the edge. Feather the edge, shift it. Basically, we want to soften it out. Because I want the, the clarity of the texture, but I don't want the sharp edges at the edges. So this should expand the empty space selection to feather in and soften where I erase from the edge. Again, kind of taking my cues from watercolor. All right, so. Let me show you what that looks like. We zoom in, you see how the edge has kind of shifted a little bit. And as we delete, you see it softens it. Do it a little bit more. Okay, so now that's what our background's looking like. It's pretty, pretty spooky looking. And a spectral face in the background there. I like it. Yeah, that might be close. Let's see. What else can I play with? I've got that blurred out Hans Hoffman painting here. Hmm. I really like some of these textures up here that I'm getting. So that's that's kind of the the idea. That's the effect. But how strong do I want them? I don't actually think I want them all that strong. So this might be enough. Let's stretch this. I have a better idea. Let's move it down, then warp the top. I just I don't want that hard edge. I'm looking at the navigator to kind of see what it really looks like. Yeah. So you see that kind of channels the eye movement in towards the middle more. Opens it up here. Looking good. Hmm. 
little tweaks. You know what? I can actually go right to my refined painting. And add the last little um, touches. Small refined painting brush. The highlight back in. Come on. This project is getting really big. So why don't I take some of these ones I'm not using. I know I'm not using anymore. Get rid of them. Still kind of torn on where to use this. If to use it. But it's getting too visually crazy. It's like too many layers of peeled paint or something. So though I like it, I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, that's yeah, that's reduced my memory load considerably. No. No. All right. So now everything is being used. Everything I see is a layer that's turned on, and now I can just make my final adjustments. And then I think I have my finished conceptual portrait. All right, so that little hard edge there I'm not so fond of. So I find the layer it's on. I go to my eraser. Actually, I'm going to go right to my, yeah, I'll do the eraser. Softly erase away from it, these hard edges. Pull those right to the edge. Helps give them intention. Pull these right to the edge. As long as it doesn't hurt the composition. Take my underpainting. Solidify it a little bit. Take a duplicate of my composite layer, move it up above my underpainting. 